Welcome to Sunday's Health Update with Dr. Taba from North Shore Gastroenterology, and we have a lot of viewer questions for you. I'm here to answer. <laughs> I'm glad they're interested. Well, a hot topic uh, in emails was food and exercise. JR from Lakewood says he's a vegetarian and has contemplated going vegan. Are there certain nutrients that he's not getting currently or that he would need to incorporate into his diet if he does go vegan? Most vegan diet currently is being supplemented with, with vitamins and essential amino acids. And because of that, with the smart dieting, with using basically the proper dietary books, most vegan can live a healthy life. That's good to know. Now Keith from Parma said his doctor told him a good way to prevent cancer is to eat healthy and maintain a good healthy lifestyle. But he's heard mixed messages on exercise. What is the recommended amount each day and does it have to be intense aerobic activity or can it be weights? That's an excellent question. Exercise has shown again and again its impact on fatty liver, so it decreases liver cancer, for example. It also, in general, by decreasing our uh, body mass index, i.e. decreasing our weight, it prevents a lot of cancers. Uh, usually 45 minutes of exercise four to times a week is what's required. Both intense activity and uh, moderate activity can be used, but the duration will vary based on what activity you choose. Okay, so both are, are, are beneficial. Both are acceptable. Mm -hmm. Both are acceptable. Good to know. And Kelly is our next question from Mayfield Heights. Uh, she has acid reflux. Is it true she shouldn't have any snacks at night? Late eating is one of the really biggest taboo in terms of causing reflux at night because we don't have any preventive mechanism when we're laying flat in bed. So usually I recommend my, to my patients who have acid reflux not to eat within two to four hours before going to bed. Good answers, good questions. Thank you, Dr. Tabal. Thank you again for having me on this Sunday.